Welcome to our daily meditations, which is drawn from the book of Ecclesiastes. Whether you are a lover of knowledge or an observer of life, we all find ourselves operating in a field of philosophy. Solomon, in his final years, looked back at what he had learned, considering that he was the wisest man that ever lived, one of the most powerful kings of Israel, and certainly one of the richest men in the then known world. Let us hear what he had to say about his search for meaning. Today's meditation comes from chapter 3 and verse 6, and we are looking at the theme, Surrender. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to give up. A time to give up. To surrender is to give up one's particular activity. No one likes to be forced to have to give up the things they like or like to do. During the Lenten season, we as Christians seek to bring our passions, desires, and habits into subjection to the Lord Jesus Christ. It also includes the giving up of some ways and even taking on of others. During Lent, we are placed in a position where we can even abandon certain things that have had a hold on our life for a very, very long time. But it is interesting to note that it is only in abandoning some things that one can gain other things or opportunities. We are all called to make decisions. Decisions to give up like the saying goes, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. The bird in the hand symbolizes certainty, what you've got. The two birds in the bush represents opportunities, but opportunities without any guarantees. Some are convinced that they would live their lives with certainties. And there are others who are a little more adventurous, who will live their lives with the promise of opportunities, even though there will be no guarantee. Sometimes to give up is to demonstrate cowardice. And at other times, to give up is to demonstrate outstanding courage. There is a time for everything a season for every activity under the heavens and this includes a time to give up. After all is said and done, there is only one thing left to say. Have reverence for God and obey his commands because this is all that we were created for. Let us pray. O oh God, in all that you do, may you be praised. Fill our lives with meaning beyond the routine of habit. May our thoughts be filled with compassion, our words filled with tenderness, and our actions filled with love. Amen. Miles Monroe, that Caribbean apostle, stated, The greatest tragedy in life is not death, but a life without a purpose. If this meditation has been a blessing to you, we ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, pass our link on to your contacts and friends, and give us a thumbs up. God bless you. Have a great day.